Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one. So today is going to be part two of my Unearthly Cosmetics holiday launch video. I don't know if this is a holiday launch. I'm calling it a holiday launch. It might not be, but there were three parts. So for mimosas and makeup, I did two looks with the dead of night video. So if you want to see that, I've got that linked, but today I am going to be trying on all seven of the new satin matte liquid lip shades. So if you are interested in seeing those, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, so we've got Mr. August. He is chilling. You gonna say hi? Yeah. So Unearthly Cosmetics is releasing seven new satin lipstick shades. They are $15 and they are going to be launching on November 17th at 12 p.m. EST. I do have a code, it's for his face, in case you're interested in any of the shades that you see here, but they are $15. We're gonna go ahead and get into the demo. I am familiar with this formula. I have tried a couple of the shades already and they are absolutely beautiful. So before I show you the lipsticks, let me just show you the packaging of them. They're really, really cute. So that's what they look like. And I think this is such cute packaging. So let's get started. The first shade I'm gonna start out with is the shade Olivia. And here's what Olivia looks like. Okay, you guys, here's Olivia. Now, I will be honest, because I'm gonna be honest with you about how I feel about each shade. This shade is probably not for me, but I would use this shade as a shade to pair with another shade. Like if a shade is too deep, I could definitely dab a little bit of Olivia on top and, and can lighten it up, but by itself, this is gonna be a no for me. I know this is a shade I could probably pair with a liner, and I do like certain lip shades that are light like this, as like that foundation lips look, but they're still deeper than this one. So I'm not sure how you would work this shade. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks, suggestions about how I can use this shade. But as of right now, this would be a companion lip shade. So again, this is the shade Olivia. All right, the next shade we have is the shade Gianna. So here is Gianna. Now I can, I can work with this shade. This is really cute, peachy. Reminds me of a really nice summer shade. And I think it's going to go really beautifully with the Daily Grind palette. And that will be the third video that I'm gonna do. This is really cute. Let me know what you think about this shade. Now I do think some people may not feel comfortable with using this shade without a liner, but for me, I would not mind using this one without a liner. So, yes. All right, let's get to the next one. Cute. All right, you guys, the next shade we are trying on is the shade Amber. And here's what Amber looks like. All right, let me know what you think about Amber. So now we're getting into shades that I really like. Like, I love these kind of nudie, peachy shades. This is reminding me a little bit, not exactly, of Velvet Affair from Lisa Eldridge. That's like a signature shade for me. So I can see Amber also being a signature shade. I really, really like this one. This is an everyday shade for me. So far out of the three that I've tried, this one is my favorite so far, but I know we have four more to go. All right, next up is the shade Danielle. Mm, this is like a nice chocolatey shade. Oh my God, as soon as I 
do something. He, he's about to come in here, watch. Here's what it looks like. Oh, you're just in time. Let me know. I'm about to draw. Okay, wanna tell me what this lipstick shade looks like? I'm about to try it on right now. Ready? Say hi. Are you gonna make my bed since you were in it? But no. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Ooh. What do you think? Put on the light lipstick. Looks you missed the light ones. No. It looks weird. Hold on, let me finish. Oh, when you get mad, uh, uh, you look like you're really mad. You look like you're an e girl. An e girl? Yeah. What's that? Like when they put dark makeup on. Oh, like goth? Yeah, you bring goth up. Hold on, let's finish it. <laughs> okay, he's laughing, yeah. and I'm making a mess. That's bad. I don't like that one. Hold on, let's finish it. Watch I like the light one. one. Okay. Mm. Nope. Nope. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no. You should be here when I try the rest of them on. I don't what if I said one. nope to that, too? I think this is pretty. I think it's bad. Okay. Well, here's what Danielle looks like. August doesn't like it. I like it. No. We'll see if it passes I don't the see test. The light one. Those are the light ones there, and you'll have to watch in the video because. Oh, let me see the light I'm one. In that be part here go, for me to be able to wear it. Be go, be and it does. Go. Okay, I think this shade looks really nice. I think it looks really bad. I feel nice and bad. All right, y'all, so there's Danielle. We have three more shades to go. All right, you guys, we're on shade number five. This is the shade Aura. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's got some red in there. We'll see what August thinks about this when I told him. I'll call him as I try on the remainder of the shades. Oh, this is gonna be a favorite. I can already tell. This is so pretty. Yes, I love this. Let me know what you think. Let me call August. August, come see this one. See if you like it. Cause I do. Is it light? This is dark. Do you have a green, like a light green one? A light green? I don't have a light green. Oh, that would be better. A light green? A light green. Okay. August wants light green. I'm feeling this. Remind? No, you need to leave. <laughs> Reminded me a bit of Velvet Cinnabar. I'm sorry I'm comparing these to Lisa Eldridge shades, but those are some of my favorite lipsticks. So these shades, like, see, y'all know, well, you might not know, but me and reds, like, I, I'm not into reds, but this is more like a cinnamon, kind of an autumn orangey red. And this is one that I can do. So yes, I, I don't know if that description helped, but this is just perfect. Oh, it just, mm, mm, okay. Yes, Aura, yes, okay. We have, oh, I'm gonna be sad. I'm uh, spacing these out how I do them. So I'm doing my report cards a little bit. Then I throw out some food, then I come back, then I do a lip shade. So I'm really enjoying this, like piecing it together through the day. But I am so into this shade. This one in amber so far, but I really do like Danielle too. But this one in amber, I could wear every day and be fine. So we have two more to go. All right, so the next shade we are trying on is the shade Marianne. I'm sure August is not gonna like this one, but I told him I would still call him to, to see it. I don't think he's gonna be into that, but we might be into it. Ooh, this is like a really bloody shade. First thing, I wanted you to see this shade. I want this one. Okay, 
Wait, that's an eyeshadow shade. No, 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 no. That's classic lipstick. It's classic? Because it's red. Oh, what do you know about classic lipstick? Because it's all red. But I don't even wear red lipstick like that, so how do you know? It's classic. It's always in the pictures. Okay. Okay. You might have a career in fashion. Classic lipstick. Tyrone has something for you, and he wants you to come down there. Oh, just messed it up. He did? Classic. I agree. It is classic lipstick, August. Okay. August. I, I don't know if I've said this on video, but I've always said that August has been here before. I've definitely said that. I don't know if he's like his dad's reincarnate in a way or something, but August has been here, letting everybody know. This shade is beautiful. It reminds me of a blood red, but this is not something I will wear every day. I would definitely wear it for a special event, and it would be something that I would wear with a really light eye look or no eye look like this and just mascara and bronzer on the eye and that's it because that's with a red like this that's all you need because this speaks for itself so beautiful shade it's just not one i'm gonna wear every day but i'm glad to have it because i think it looks beautiful i think my issue with reds previously is that when i film with them i've had them on with eye looks that are bold and i don't like how that looks on me I think it makes me look like a clown. And that's just me. I don't think with my tone, the reds look good. The red has to be the hero of the look and nothing else can overpower it. If the blush is too strong, I feel like that in the lipstick makes me look like a clown. If the eyes are too strong, I feel like I look like a clown. So I really only like to have one standout in my look. And I've said that before. It could be the cheeks. It could be the lips. It could be the eyes. It cannot be all three possible that it can be two out of the three but if the lips are really bold it can only be one out of three that's kind of like my formula that works for me so this is really really beautiful and i do like the red with this cheek color so yes okay oh, we only have one more i was like are we sure but yeah there's one more shade left and then i'll let you know my thoughts but i think you kind of know them already so let's get to the last shade all right for the last and final shade we are trying on gloria august said it better be light or else but i can already tell him it's not going to be Ooh. so there's Gloria hey August this is really pretty too though mm. Yeah, I wanted you to check this out. No, no, no. I said light, not dark. Okay. Um, we're following tutorials now. I mean, August can do anything he puts his mind to. Go ahead. Who is that? Goku. Is this from uh, anime? When did you learn about anime? I mean, here, because I don't want to get lipstick on it, and I feel like I might have. Y'all, Marky's sick. Like, he randomly woke up last night and was like, I threw up. I was just like... <laughs> so he's laying down. He didn't have a problem wanting fries from McDonald's or eating them or ice cream. So, I don't know. We'll see. He was supposed to have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but now that's going to be canceled, most because likely. you do. All right, August, let me close out this video. All right, so let's see what we think about yeah. these lipsticks. Call out the video then. <laughs> First of all, I just want to, as always, thank Unearthly Cosmetics for allowing me to try on all their products. I really, really have fun, and I really have fun doing these lipstick try-ons. So my sweet spot, I'm trying to hold them in order uh, the way that I tried them on. Let me go from the beginning, because I kind of commented on these as I tried them on. Olivia was just too light for me to use alone. 
and it is possible that I could use this with a deeper liner and kind of have, is that ombre, the ombre look? I'm not sure because I don't really do that often. So this isn't really like a lost cause, but it's just not a lipstick that I'm going to use alone. Going to the, go, thank you. Going to the opposite end of the spectrum, I love this shade Gloria as well. It's not a shade I'm gonna wear all the time, but it looks really nice on. And actually I like it better than Marianne, which was, was this the blood red? Yes, this was like the blood red shade. So I like this one better. So I'm gonna put this one to the side. And I'm also gonna put Marianne to the side because this isn't one that I'm gonna wear really often, maybe for like a really, really special event and I don't have many of those. So I'm putting that one to the side. I think that these four were the sweet spots for me. Gianna was the peachy orange shade just to review. Got a review and teacher, so you know. So yeah, that peachy orange, I'm sure that's a shade that August would enjoy. Oh, this one right here, August. I think you would have liked this one. I'm not putting it on, I already did. Just look, right here, I know. You like that, the light one like that? Yeah, I knew you would. I like the shade Amber more than Gianna though. And that was the one I said reminded me of the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Affair just a little bit. That one was probably my favorite. And then second place had to be the shade Aura. I'm sorry, you kept going in and out. Oh, it's okay, you're going in and out. I don't, I don't mind. And that was that deeper kind of orangey red shade. And then getting to the more chocolatey brown was Danielle. That was this one here. So out of all seven, these four were the sweet spots for me. So if I were purchasing them myself, these are the four that I would get because I know that I would get the most use out of them. They would be daily shades. I am really happy with these shades. And even though all of them aren't my favorite out of the launch, four out of seven, I mean, I really, really liked. And the other three shades, it's not like they're shades that I can't wear or will never wear. It's just that I would not wear them as often as these. What's a Natasha Denona? What's a Natasha Denona? Uh, she's a makeup artist. What made you ask that? Okay. All right. So yes, another successful launch from Unearthly Cosmetics. I continue to love what she comes out with. The last lipstick launch was great too. So many unique colors and these definitely did not disappoint. So again, these are $15 and these seven shades are gonna launch on November 17th at 12 p.m. EST. Frizz face will save you 10%. You don't have to use my code, but use a code because we can all stand to save some money. So that's going to be it for this video. I just want to say thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for this lipstick try on. I hope this was therapy for you. It definitely was for me. It helped, it's helping me get through my Sunday fun day, you know, getting ready for work tomorrow, getting the boys things ready, dealing with Marky who's sick, doing report cards, all that kind of stuff, laundry. So I really enjoy like having these little seven break points in my day. So again, I, I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. Until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice and stay safe. And I will see y'all for the daily grind. Bye. Oh,